Hello, this is Chris with Second Chance Silverware Jewelry. I had a lady come to my booth a couple of weeks ago and was just starting to make silverware jewelry and uh, she said she'd like to learn how to solder so I told her I'd try to make a short video on how I do it and maybe she can learn something from it so uh, here you go. Uh, I want to say first that uh, I make no claim that this way, the way I do it is the best way of doing it or the only way of doing it. It's just my way and uh, it works for me. Should not should work for you too so uh, you're going to be amazed about how little of stuff you actually need if you watch a lot of videos on YouTube on solder and they're going to have all kinds of fancy uh, tripods and trays and pins and third hands and hard solder, soft solder, easy solder, paste solder, all, flux, liquid flux, powder flux, just all kinds of different and it's really overwhelming so uh, let's see if I can simplify this for you okay the first thing you're gonna need is a heat source uh, let's see this is called a micro torch uh, that's what you need for a heat source, okay? I get these at Harbor Freight for under 10 bucks. Uh, lasts a pretty good while, okay? Then you're going to need some butane to fill it up with. I get this at Harbor Freight, but you can get it at Walmart or anywhere, okay? Uh, let's see. Solder. Right there is the only solder I ever use. It's electrical solder says silver bearing rosin core solder okay I get this at uh, Home Depot I think uh, what the rosin core means it already has flux in it you don't have to add any extra flux unless you're soldering stainless steel and we'll go over that in just a minute okay but that's all I ever use for every project okay I hadn't found nothing that this won't solder making silverware jewelry okay now uh, speaking of stainless steel uh, you'll need one extra thing for stainless steel it, you will need an, another flux for stainless steel this is called rubies uh, you can still use the same solder but you're going to need to put a drop or two of this on it it etches the metal and so it'll stick to uh, stainless steel we'll do some of that in a minute uh, that's a big bottle you don't need that much but I got I transferred into this little squeeze bottle so I can just use a drop at a time okay uh, how do you hold your pieces okay I'll show you right over here is my vise on my table and right in front of us here is two pair of hemostats well I've got more but that's if you can clamp it you can solder it that's all I ever use for all the pro soldering projects I do is two pairs of hemostats and a vise okay well let's see if we can get started here uh, I don't know anything about editing videos so I just have to move my camera around and try to get it so you guys can see something uh, let's see I don't think that's gonna work let's try it on this side yeah maybe y'all could see what I'm doing here okay well, maybe that'll work okay well I just grabbed some metal I'm, these aren't projects or anything uh, it's just some scenarios you might run into uh, I just got a flattened spoon bowl. This is a little Texas pendant. I, I stamp out a tray, silver trays. They're both silver plated. So let's say you want to solder that Texas to your spoon bowl or anything. Put it in your vise. I have copper sheets on my vise here so it don't mar up the metal. Okay, the easiest way to do this Where's my cutters? Just cut you a small piece of solder off 
okay really small I'll lay it on my vise and I'm gonna hammer it flat you don't have to do this but it helps okay it's flat now I'm just gonna put that right where I want that Texas to be I'm gonna put my Texas right in the center of that solder okay let's see take your hemostats clamp it okay I would clamp it twice one on each side I can get them open okay now it is so simple I guess I'll show you how to pull that safety down punch your button now you got a flame you folks that do this inside your house uh, at your kitchen table or your bedroom uh, don't worry about burning the house down it's a small flame if you're careful be aware of what you're doing you're gonna be fine so okay two things you want to remember preheat the top hold the flame to the bottom okay preheat top hold flame to the bottom so here we go, we're going to preheat the top, the solder's not going to flow yet, I just wanted to get this part of the two metals need to be up to temperature, and now just hold it on the bottom until you see that Texas fall down and the solder will melt, okay, it's already melted, okay, there you go. Your, your piece will kind of sink down a little when it melts or I seen a little spot of silver came out from the edge uh, when it melted so I knew it melted and that's all there is to it uh, let it sit solidify for a minute you can take quench it and now you've got a solder Texas. I'm trying to bend it and pop it off. It ain't coming off. It's soldered soldered on there. Now some may say, Chris, you're creating a heat heat sink with your hemostats. Well, no, not really, because I'm heating the hemostats up same temperature as the metal. So you see all that black grungy stuff all over it? That's a good thing. That kind of helps keep the uh hemostats from uh a hearing I don't know what I'm trying to say from sticking okay <laughs> okay one more project oh I do a lot of these this is my version of a spoon fish okay I got my spoon these are whales tails that I stamp out of pancake dies okay so I solder these tails on the end of the spoons to make my spoon fish and I'm trying to do this so I don't hit the camera so if I look like I'm a little awkward I'm usually standing right where the camera is well, okay put your whale's tail on clamp it okay can you see that yep same thing preheat the top I'm heating the hemostats and all okay there's about an eighth inch gap right there. On, on this kind of soldering, I like to kind of puddle it up a little bit. Uh, don't don't let anybody tell you uh, solder won't fill gaps because it will. Now hold the flame at the bottom. Preheat top, hold the flame. And about the time you think it's up to temperature, look at there. Just flows real easy. Okay, and you will get the feel of this after you do it a little while. You'll you'll know when it's up to temperature and you know ready to ready to go. Let that solidify for a second. Okay, there's my spoon fish. What else we got here? Okay, this. I know a lot of y'all like to make the bird houses out of knife handles. This is the way. I don't know if y'all can see this. 
Okay, that's the roof. Going to be a birdhouse. Okay, here's the way I do them. I'll bend my wire to the side. And clamp it. If you can clamp it, you can solder it. Okay, I'll move my hand here in a minute. Get it all set up just right. Can you see that? I think so. Same technique. Preheat the top. You don't need the hemostats for this project. Okay, just preheat right where you want your solder to flow. Now hold the flame underneath until it comes up to temperature. You can put your solder there. It'll start flowing when it's ready. Now it's flowing now. And I want to work, work some down in there. There you go. The solder is going to follow the heat source. That's why you're holding it at the bottom. So it will flow down toward the torch. There you go. Nothing to it. Let that solidify. Give it a second. I can pick it up by this wire. There you go. Just like that. Basically, I tried what, what's going to be the back side, I solder. So you see, there's the front side, and you really don't see any solder or anything, so it's, it's a lot neater. So, okay, that's not all on this. I got to put a base on it. Okay, can you see that? This is just a circle I stamped out of a silver tray I had. Clamp it. Real gently, it don't need much. Now, on this particular project, I will take and cut, well, I'll just do it off camera, four little pieces off my solder, or three or four. They're maybe a half an inch long. Now, I will take them pieces and put them inside my birdhouse there. Okay, and very carefully you're going to flip this over without losing all your solder chips. There we go. Okay, let's turn this so maybe you can see it. Okay. Same thing, preheat top, whole flame to bottom. And uh, you don't have to preheat the whole thing, just the bottom down there where it's going to solder. Okay, this might take a little more preheating because it's a lot more metal. Okay. Now I'm going to hold the plane to the bottom. Might doesn't hurt to move it around a little. Okay. You will see solder flow out the edges when it melts, okay? If you think it's taking too long, come back up here. Preheat a little more. It's already flowed. I can see. See if we can get more of it. Okay. It's already flowed. I can see it coming out the edges. Soon as more will flow out. Okay. I think it flowed. There's only one way to tell for sure, and that's to uh, let it cool and pull on it. Had to get me some coffee. Okay, let's see if it flowed. Yep, she's rock solid. Rock solid. Okay. So there's your little bird houses. Okay, uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and get into some stainless steel. We need to wrap this up here. I'm gonna do another spoon fish, but this is a stainless steel spoon 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 bowl. 
okay. Same as the other one. Now, I'm going to put a piece of copper, silver plate, copper, just treat it as it's the same thing. Then silver, sterling, I mean, just, you could do, the same technique works on all three metals, okay. You just, it don't on the stainless. Alright, I'm going to clamp my little tail on there. Only thing different I'm going to do is take my rubies and just put a drop. And it will flow down in between the seams, okay. Let it give it a second. Now, I want to warn you, though, uh, this flux does put off uh, uh, fumes, so don't hold your head right over where you're melting it and breathing them fumes in. Doesn't hurt to open a window or door. It hadn't killed me yet, and I've been doing a lot of it. Preheat top. And this still will heat quicker than plate does. Okay, hold it at the bottom until your solder flows. There we go. It just flows. Okay. Now if you didn't use that rubies, all that solder would do is just ball up and roll off. It won't stick. Okay. It would just ball up. And also if you're trying to uh, solder silver plate and you notice it balling up and won't stick, you've got the metal too hot. If you get the metal too hot, it'll just ball up. So. You'll learn that fine line there. Okay, we're going to do that one more time. I just got a couple of pieces of stainless steel handles here. We'll just solder them together. I'll just put them in a vise like this. This isn't a project. This is just two pieces of metal. Okay. It's in the vise. I'm going to put my rubies down between that seam there let it flow on down and now we'll try to solder them two together okay this may take a minute this is a lot of metal I'm trying to solder here so I'm preheating the front I'm gonna hold the flame to the back Go down, flow down in between them. Okay, easy peasy, Japanesey. I know this video is running long, but I wanted to show you one more project. Yep, rock hard. Well. Let's wrap it up here. I'll uh, I'll do some more projects later. So I hope this helped you out. The lady who wanted to start soldering, it's it's so easy. You're going to be kick yourself for putting it off for so long. Uh, so hope this helped. Goodbye.